Are you ready for round two, kids? Um, yeah, I've no idea what I'm on about. Um, first of all, background footage, playing around a little bit on Nightmare with the Daredevil's Charm. I completely forgot what it's called now. Um, works quite well, interestingly. Anyway, this is the second math video I'm going to be doing. Uh, still working on Melee. It's a nightmare. Like, oh my god. Oh. Um, so this is going to be all about the long guns and everything involved mathematically with the long guns. Now, some of these are a little bit more convoluted because some of them have max caps, which is weird, especially the beam rifle. Um, and something I should have mentioned as well in the pistol video is this is all my own workings out. Some of it is, well, all of it essentially is wrong, but it gets me roughly within the one or two percent ballpark. There are some equations that are missing a few things. It's this very basic math that gets me where I need it to be so I can work out things from there. If I'm looking at something that's within one or two percent, I generally just go with the assumption that they are the same, just they look different or have a different magazine capacity or fire rate. So overall, yeah, um, it's all done through playtesting and just sat here for hours on end just staring at my friggin' screen with notepads, pens, Google, Ugh, it's a nightmare. But anyway, let's just get started, shall we? So up first we have the rapid fires, which I've covered mostly before with a previous video. So Chicago typewriter, 36 damage, 8.8 .8 fire rate and 80 round magazine. So 36 times 8.8 .8 over 10 seconds, that's 3,168. Taking it through to magazine DPS, we're looking at 2,880. And the time per magazine, I'm not going to say because it makes me sound like a horny German. Up next, we have the assault rifle, 45 damage, 7.3 fire rate, 32 round magazine. This is actually quite interesting. So, though you're at a 32 round magazine, due to the fire rate, it will actually out damage Chicago typewriter over two magazines, including the reload animation. So DPS over 10 seconds is 3,285 and DPS per magazine is 1,440, which is exactly half of Chicago typewriter. And the time per magazine is also lower than the time per magazine on Chicago typewriter. So effectively more efficient, more damage, and generally speaking as well, just, you know, easier to get in my opinion now for the fun one beam rifle 60 damage over four rounds per second 50 round magazine now one thing i need to state from the off is this weapon caps at 5040 damage roughly there's like a two percent differential in there damage over 10 seconds is 2400 but the damage per magazine is 3000 and that's without equating in the ramp up which is absolutely hilarious like i said the weapon caps are 5400 so if we go on the lower end of the scaling which i've seen which is eight percent that's the top one that would put you at 5054.4 damage over 10 seconds on the high end which is a 10 percent scaling that puts you at 5148 however you might be noticing at the bottom, we've got time per magazine, is 12.5, which means this weapon fires for longer than 10 seconds. So if we actually equate in the full damage ratio with the magazine, if our weapon continually scaled on the low end, we'd get 7,938, but it doesn't. So it will cap out after 7.78 seconds, tipping the scale at that 5,040. And if we put it at the high end and it continually scaled, it's 8,085, but it doesn't. So we're back down to 7. 64 seconds to hit that max scaling all of this is done through playtesting it could very well be wrong but everything i have done so far would suggest that my math is within a one to two percent differential so it's largely correct but to be able to sit here and do this on repeat honestly it's melting my brain so i'm just hoping you take what I'm saying with some consideration, but also have a slight pinch of salt. I don't really know how to say it. It's right, but it's wrong, because unless I can see the coding of the game and I'm not that good, um, yeah, this is just gonna be a case of the game is bullying me. 
Up next is the semi-auto. This encompasses the largest portion of weapons in the game. And the first one we're covering is Coach Gun, which is 306 damage with a 2.5 fire rate and a two round magazine. Over 10 seconds, assuming you don't have to reload, that's 7,650 damage. But you do have to reload and you're also restricted by magazine. So over that, it's 612 damage, pretty self-explanatory. And the time per magazine is 0.8 seconds. Up next is the Eye of the Storm, one of my more interesting weapons, 195 damage with a 1.7 fire rate and a 15 round magazine. Over 10 seconds, that's 3,315 damage, but per magazine, that's 2,925, and time per magazine is 8.823529411176, literally just under 9 seconds. Hunting Rifle, mathematically the best starting weapon in the game. So if you're just starting the game and you're watching this video, get the Hunting Rifle. You can purchase it from the weird upgradey guy. 165 damage with a 1.9 fire rate, 10 round magazine over 10 seconds, 3,135 damage. And damage per magazine is 1,650. Admittedly, all these math equations are done with the weapon at max. Time per magazine is 5.2. 2631578947474 seconds. Particle Accelerator. One of my favourites, but bitterly disappointed on this, uh, the results. 210 damage with a 1.5 fire rate, 5 rounds in the magazine. Over 10 seconds, that's 3,150, but per magazine, it's 1,050 damage. Time per magazine is 3.33 recurring, which basically just means lots of threes. Repulsor. This thing blew my mind. Most weapons over 10 seconds have a roughly 3,000 damage. Uh, not Repulsor. Repulsor goes, nam it. 300 damage with a 1.8 fire rate, 5 round magazine. Over 10 seconds, that is 5,400. Over the course of a magazine, though, it's 1,500, and its time per magazine is 2.77777777777. Now it's time to break it down like a shotgun. 390 damage with a 1.1 fire rate with 7 rounds. Over 10 seconds, that's 4,290 damage. Over the course of the magazine, that's 2,730. The time per magazine is 6.36363636 and then a lonely 4 at the end. That 4 must be so lonely. Now it's time for the surprise contender, Burst Fire, of which there is only one. Ruin with a 57 damage per bullet, 6 rounds per second, and a 30 round magazine. Over the course of 10 seconds, this is 3,420. And over the course of a magazine, that's 1,710. This is mathematically one of the most stable weapons in the game, as like well balanced. Time per magazine is 6 seconds as well. It's Apart from that really obnoxious mod, this weapon is actually mathematically pretty damn good. Now we just need to find a build that synergizes with it. Ugh. Oh, the single ladies? Oh, the single ladies? I'm joking, yeah, sure you shouldn't sing. First one up is the lovely crossbow, one of the main favourites. Damage over 10 seconds is 3,450. Damage per magazine is 345. Time per magazine is one. Yeah, this part's gonna be really quick. I can feel it. Le Devastateur. Catch with this weapon is every shot fires five bolts which apply damage individually. So 96 times five times one because there's one shot over 10 seconds. It's 4,800. And per magazine, that's 480, because quite simply, it's 96 times 5. Time per magazine is 1. And, yeah, this thing is technically one of the most powerful weapons in the game, so why people use crossbow, I don't know. Might have something to do with the weird spread of the uh, bolts. Now for the headache, ricochet rifle, 240 damage, single shot, one round magazine. Over 10 seconds, that's 2,400. Over a magazine, that's 240. Problem is, it friggin' bounces. So over 10 seconds, that's 3,360, just equating in the five bounces, assuming every bounce will hit an enemy. 
and then per shot it's 1200 again assuming every bounce hits an enemy time per magazine is one sniper rifle my wife's personal favorite 375 damage, single shot, one round magazine over 10 seconds, that's 3,750. And over the course of a magazine, obviously, that's 375. Time per magazine is one. And then we have pure stupidity. Spore Bloom, 600 damage, single shot, one round in the chimba. Over the course of 10 seconds, that's 6,000 damage, and per shot, that's 600 damage. Taking into account the reload and the time per magazine, mathematically, you literally are now looking at the strongest weapon in the game. Like, it's stupid. And if you take into consideration every single weapon's reload, rate of fire, and the damage they do, this weapon, Spore Bloom, outperforms all of them. You could even have things like two beam rifles next to each other and Spore Bloom can keep up. It's it's laughable. Anyway, that just about does it for my final little vidoir on the math. I will be getting a melee one out pretty damn soon, hopefully one where I'm not running around naked trying to punch things to death. But, you know, um, that may take me some time. It will come out, I just don't know when. But in the meantime, have fun, good luck and don't die. It's bad for the health.